What's going on, guys? Back at it again for another episode of Sipping with Samurai Piggy for you. Got a lot of good things coming. So, first off, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends, let them know what we're doing, let them know what we're drinking. Smash that like button, subscribe to the video, hit the little bell so you can get all the info of when I upload new videos because I'm doing a bunch of new things. I'm doing beer style videos soon. I will be doing videos on whether to buy the beers or not. Still thinking of a title, but it'll come to me. So it'll basically be a shorter version of this video. And yeah, and I'm pumping out a lot of new stuff. I'm splicing videos now. I'm working on video editing programs. I should have done this a long time ago, but I'm doing it now better late than never. So let's just leave it at that. But enough about that. We're here to drink some beer and it is Tuesday. Just another step, one step closer to the weekend, one step to drinking more beer. But this is what we got today. We have the Reef Donkey, an American pale ale from our friends up in Tampa Bay Beer Company. So, brewing company, I'm sorry. So, before we get to the beer, let's talk about the brewery. These guys are up in Tampa, Florida. They are short and straight to the point, and I kind of like that. I would like, like I would have liked to have dug around, found some more backstory, but a little bit in a rush today, so let's just leave it at that. So, a, a little bit about TBBC. They were founded in 1995, and they have played a fundamental role in shaping the landscape of Florida craft beer scene. They specialize in brewing flavorful and hop-centric IPAs, APAs, expressive sours, and juicy fruit-forward fruit Florida Weisses. At their two tap rooms, you will find a constant rotation of pilot batch and seasonal releases plus year-round favorites. Despite growing nationwide demand for their beers, they intend to remain available solely in their home state, Florida. And they live Florida and brew for Florida. So they just want you to know they're Florida forward, all about the beer scene here, and you know, just spreading that Florida love. And I really like that because, you know, as they said, they were founded in 1995 and the craft beer scene was very, very young at that point, especially here in Florida. So really cool to, you know, be in the home state of some of these guys, big guys like Cigar City and, you know, TBBC. So, yeah, let's talk about the beer. So, today we have the Reef Donkey, and as they said, they are very expressive with their APAs or American Pale Ales, and that's exactly what this is. So, a little bit about the Reef Donkey. It is a 5.5% ABV American Pale Ale. It's dry hopped, using a secret selection of hops to give this nice dry beer a lemon lime aroma and citrus and slight tropical fruit flavor. Although this brew hits the classification of an APA, it drinks like a session IPA, perfect for a day on the boat fishing on the reef. Reef Donkey is slang for the greater amberjack game fish, which inhabits the coastal wrecks and reefs here in Florida. And as you can see, they got that little bad boy right there. Showing some love to the Reef Donkey. And the style itself, the APA or American Pale Ale, is actually British in origin. And the style is now popular worldwide and the use of local or imported ingredients produces variances in character from region to region. American versions tend to be cleaner and hoppier with the piney, citrusy, cascade variety appearing frequently than the British versions, which are usually more malty, buttery, aromatic, and balanced. Pale ales range in color from deep gold to medium amber. Fruity esters and diacetyl can vary from none to moderate, and hop aroma can range from lightly floral to bold and pungent. In general, expect a good balance of caramel malt and expressive hops with a medium body and a mildly bitter finish. So the typical ABV for an American pale ale is 4.5 to 6.5% ABV, and this one's 5.5, so it lands right there in the middle. Around 25 to 50 IBU, and you will typically drink it out of a pint glass, or a Becker or Nonic tumbler, or a Nonic or tumbler. And what they were saying is, they're absolutely correct. So that whole spiel that I usually go with through IPAs. So the first beer that ever appeared was a pale ale, or a bitter, which they called it back in, uh, in the UK and well what's funny is that they would call a bitter the cask ale which was a pale ale in a cask and then they would call a pale ale 
a bottle of pale ale. So, you know, they had, they had the variances to know what was what, either if it came out of a cask or a bottle. So the IPA was bred from the APA when they were sending the beers to India for their fellow British fellow, uh, men, com com compatriots over there. And then, you know, when the craft beer movement started here, uh, American Pale Ale and IPA soon followed. And the big difference, as stated before, is the fact of the hops that we use. So the American hops are a lot more citrusy, piney, dank, resinous, while the British hops are more woodsy and floral. So, well, woodsy and earthy, I'm sorry. And yeah, so, I mean, I'm excited to try this. I hope you guys are too. So let's get to it. So very nice carbonation on that. And that is a fantastic head. That was just, uh, I mean, it's looking as good as the head that we had yesterday on the, both the Grimm and the South African Hop True Untitled Art Brewing collab. And it has a nice golden color, just a straight gold. So, what I appreciate is that everything that they mentioned in the description of the Reef Donkey, you get on the scent as well. So you get like this piney, you get like this slight tropical, like that lemon lime zest that they, that they had said. So the scent is not far off from what they put in their tasting notes, which I appreciate. Ooh, and the taste is as well. So, mm. you get a, a piney, a slight tropical taste. You get a little bit of that lemon lime zest. And like I said, uh, piney, tropical. And what I appreciate as, what, as is in the style of APAs, they're not as bitter as IPA. So they really took this and they made it a very sessionable, crushable APA. So TBBC, big ups, that's a great beer. I could definitely slam on this, <laughs> slam on this. I could definitely slam this uh, easily, six pack. Really easy drinking beer. And you know, it's, super sessionable it's not overbearing at all so you could definitely take this by the pool on the beach any on those hot days and you know as i'm talking i'm still getting a bit a little bit about that that resonant the the residual taste in the back of my tongue of that of like that nice like a little pine citrus taste or that, that pine like tropical notes very delicious so what would i pair this with hmm so I can actually see myself eating this or drinking this with some mussies and brussies, which uh, is one of my favorites. I can see myself having this with Mediterranean food, definitely tacos, um, fish tacos for sure, not so much. Uh, Not so much, I could do the meat tacos, definitely. I could also see myself having this with those like piney notes. I think this would actually make a really good marinade for like a, either a white, lamb. a white fish. Huh? Lamb, because lamb, if it's piney, it's something like rosemary. That she has a, she, of course, Marilyn in the back, very good point. This would go really well with lamb, lamb chops. Lamb chops. I was also going to suggest, um, maybe make a chimichurri out of it. Ooh, uh, a reef donkey chimichurri. I think that'd be bomb. And what else am I thinking? What else am I thinking? I said Mediterranean. 
I could also definitely go with some curries. I think that would be bomb. <laughs> but yeah, you could definitely do a lot with this. And I mean, if not for nothing, you could just drink it by itself and have it all day. Super sessionable, super crushable, as Marco likes to say. But yeah, guys, before I go, I want to say thank you so, so much for tuning in. Let's uh, give some love to the peeps. We got my, my dude, Chef Jay. What's going on, brother? How you been? Marco from Unseen Creatures. Charlie's House. How's it going? The Florida Brewer out of West Palm Beach. Mr. PB&J, my future boss. Of course, my lovely wife always tuning in. Beerly Vegan, thank you so much for tuning in. But yeah, so I'm gonna go crush this. I hope you guys have a fantastic night. Have a lot of cool things coming, so definitely stay tuned for that. Again, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends, let them know what we're doing, let them know what we're drinking. If you have any beers or breweries you'd like to recommend, shoot those down in the comments. Let's, let's have a talk, let's chat it up. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Also drop those in the comments. And you can catch me on Instagram, Patreon, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, all those places. Thirsty Samurai Piggy, look it up, I'm there. And yeah, guys, thank you so, so much for tuning in. I hope you have a fantastic night. Love you. Appreciate you. Cheers.